Hello and welcome back to our channel. This video is all about how to get verified on OpenSea. So let's begin. We are going to show you everything about the verification process including how to get a verified account or badged collection and the requirement for the account verification and the collection verification. So watch this video till the end to better understand the complete process. Let's first understand what is a verified account or badged collection. In the NFT ecosystem, account verification brings greater trust, thereby helping the community identify authentic creators and content. A blue checkmark badge on an account means that the account has been verified for authenticity by OpenSea. The verified account will look like this. A blue checkmark badge on a collection means that the collection belongs to a verified account and has significant interest or sales. Let's see how it looks like. Visit OpenCIO and click on Explore on the top of the page. Here you will see all the collections. Click on any collection to see its details. Here next to the name of the collection you can see the blue tick mark. Below it you can see its creator's name, which also has a blue tick icon. It means that this collection is verified and the creator has also verified their account. Now let's see the account verification eligibility. Since the goal of verification is to support a healthy ecosystem on OpenSea, not all accounts are eligible for verification. Accounts that own collections with at least 100 ETH of volume sold or equivalent in SOL are eligible to apply for verification. Such accounts will see a banner on their account page directing them to apply for verification in their profile settings. They will also receive an email from OpenSea if they have a verified email address listed. Now let's see the criteria for account verification. Before you can apply for account verification, make sure that your account has a username, a profile picture, a verified email address, and a connected Twitter account. Let's now look at how you can connect your Twitter account. Just like you can connect your OpenSea collection to a social account, you can also connect your Twitter account to your profile. This adds another layer of authentication for users on OpenSea. To connect your Twitter account, follow these simple steps. First, navigate to your profile icon in the top right corner and select Settings. Next, under the Social Connections heading, click Connect. You'll then be taken to a page where you'll be asked to authorize OpenSea's connection with your Twitter account. Your Twitter account name will be displayed in the top right corner. Your profile page will now display your linked Twitter account in the top right corner. Clicking it will redirect you to your account on Twitter and hovering over it, you will see Ownership Verified. So now your Twitter account is verified. Now let's see how to apply for account verification. You can apply for account verification in just three simple steps. First is to navigate to your profile settings. Then find the apply for verification heading at the top of the page. And once you have completed your profile, click on submit request. OpenSea's customer support team will review your request and you will receive a response within seven days. You can also see the review decision in your profile settings. If your account is verified, your username, email address and social connections fields in your profile will be locked for security purposes. You will need to contact the support team in order to make changes to a verified account profile. So make sure to make any changes before applying for verification. Next, let's see what can cause you to lose your verification. If you violate OpenSea's terms of service, or engage in conduct that would disqualify you from account verification eligibility, you could lose your verified status. It means that once your account is verified, you have to always follow OpenSea's terms and conditions. OpenSea states that we reserve the right to decline to verify an account or remove verified status for any reason and without notice. Next, let's see about collections verification. Once your account is verified, any collection with at least 100 ETH of volume or equivalent in SOL will be eligible to be badged. Before you can submit your collection for review, it must have the following characteristics. 
a title, a banner, a logo image, a connected Twitter account, all collection items minted or revealed and certification by the collection creator that the work is original. Next, let's see how to apply for a collection badge. You can get a verification badge for your collection in just four simple steps. First, navigate to your collection page. In the upper right corner, click the pencil icon to edit your collection. Scroll down to the apply for a collection badge heading. Once all of the criteria are met, click on request badge. OpenSea's customer support team will review your request and you'll receive a response within seven days. You can also see the review decision on the edit collection page. If a collection is reviewed by the customer support team and isn't granted a badge, you will need to wait for seven days before your collection will be eligible for another review. So in this period, make sure to make any changes that can increase the chances to get a badge. And once you're satisfied, you can apply for the review again. OpenSea states that we reserve the right to decline a collection badging request for any reason and remove the badge if the collection is not in line with our terms of service. What does the badge look like? A collection with a badge will display this collection belongs to a verified account and has significant interest or sales when you hover the mouse over the blue check mark. When browsing the marketplace, you'll also see a badge on any item from a badged collection. OpenSea reviews account verification requests in four categories. Firstly, you'll have a higher chance of getting accepted if you're notable in art, entertainment, technology, music, sports, gaming, news, politics and activism. For example, Rob Gronkowski. Secondly, you can also be notable in artistic, technical or social innovations. For example, Simon de la Rovere. Thirdly, accounts that are more likely to be verified are the ones with severe fraud risk, for example, Budweiser. Lastly, being verified on another social media platform will also increase your chances of getting verified on OpenSea. Now, let's see who is ineligible for an OpenSea verification. There are four criteria which decide you're eligible for a verification or not. Number one, accounts that engage in manipulative or deceptive buying, selling, bidding and offers are ineligible for an OpenSea verification. Number two, accounts that use copyrighted material or trademarks without a license are also ineligible. Next, in addition, you need to be 18 and above to apply for an OpenSea verification. Accounts operated by those under the age of 18 years old, even if the account belongs to a parent or guardian, will also be ineligible. And lastly, any account that violates OpenSea's terms of services will not be accepted. And that completes this in-depth tutorial on how to get verified on OpenSea and its eligible criteria. This brings this video to an end. We truly hoped it increased your understanding about the process. If you have any suggestions and want us to make a video on a specific topic, feel free to comment below. And for more such videos, make sure to stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.